Okay, actually, this is the second part of our uh, lesson this evening about the same subject, understanding the self. We will continue with the subject. Come again, we will go back to the question. What happens to a person whose three components of the soul are in balance? Okay. What happened? What happened? According to St. Augustine, first, according to his idea, the spirit of man is medieval philosophy. Secondly, following view of Plato, but adds Christianity. Now that is according to Augustine. He said we so we have to view, we have to follow and view of Plato, but we have to add Christianity. Third, man is a before created nature. Fourth, part of man dwells in the world that is imperfect. And yearns to be with the divine. Okay? Other part is capable of reaching immortality. It is because that is the teaching of the Bible. Body dies on earth. The body will die here on earth. But uh, the soul will live eternally in heaven. You see? That is the different between the the two you know it's like it's like you are uh, okay if you are seeing the fruit of a tree okay if you are seeing a fruit of a, a fruit of a tree now after eating that fruit after eating that fruit and planted that seed now Maybe after one week, after one month, it will sprout out and you will see a different and a beautiful uh, uh, tree. Could you imagine? That will, that will bear fruit. You see? You see, so meaning you are now seeing a different view. You are now seeing a different body. Okay? So, now, do you believe in the concept of the soul coming to heaven after death? Now, again, I'm not here to teach about the Bible. It so happened that this is the content of the subject, understanding the self. Well, I believe all of us, we have our own religion uh, because we are not here to talk about who is, who is true or who is wrong, who is, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm not telling that your religion is wrong, my religion is correct. That, 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 that is not my point. My point is, according to the teaching, do you believe in the concept or in the teaching of the soul coming to heaven after death? I mean, do you believe that after death of the body, do you believe that we will go somewhere? Uh, again, I'm not asking you to give me the correct answer. I'm not asking you to give me the Bible. I'm not asking you to give a Bible verse. I'm, I'm asking only your idea about this question because this question is about ourselves. Somebody can give me any idea? Uh, yes, Doc. Me, I do believe myself that there is life after death and there is yeah, soul in our life. Amen. I do believe in that. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Somebody who can uh, give another idea? 
if your belief is no heaven, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> because we are just uh, because we are just studying, please. And add other idea, please. Hmm? Other idea. Okay, if no, okay, we will go on so that uh, okay. Uh, what makes us different from animals? Okay, what <laughs> what makes us different from the dogs, the cats? Have you heard that in other countries, a young lady married his dog? Have you heard that? Yes, dog. Yes, dog. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Uh, well, well, uh, we are not blaming those people. Well, well that is the right. That is the right. Okay. Um, I don't know how can. Uh, well, uh, well, it's very hard to say anything again uh, about this. Please. So, what do you think? What do you think? Is there any difference bit from us to the animals? Again, me, Doc, okay, I do believe that uh, we as a human have a lot of difference from animals because first uh, we think more wisely and then we have a conscience, we have uh, we have feelings more than, than the animals, we care others, we care our people, we care everything. So I think that is the difference of human from animals. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Well, praise the Lord, praise God. So... It's nice to hear that. Okay, others, any idea, please? Because we are yes. just asking. Uh, yes, yes Mom Regina, please, yes, Mom Regina. <laughs> yes, Doc. Uh, I believe uh, the difference from uh, man and and animals, animals for the uh, God's creation. Oh. We create special by God. So that's the different. Doc. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, how about the others who want to say something? Yes, Doc. Go ahead, James. Um, for me, uh, there's a big difference. And no, I think uh, little, we, uh, we don't have any little difference about uh, animals because of our ability to speak. Okay, the, uh, the, uh, the people is uh, more uh, dynamics about ability to speak na, na other than animals. Also, uh, um, there are some animals can talk, but not totally like a uh, uh, ability of human to talk more dynamically in any language. Okay. Um, well, what what do you think? Uh, what do you think? Doc, uh, yes, Doc. Uh, can I answer? Pastor Henry, go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, the the core difference between animals and man. Uh, animals only have body and soul, but man, uh, uh, body, soul, and spirit. Okay, thank you. More, more, Henry. No more. <laughs> sir. Yes, ma'am. Pearl, ma'am. Pearl. Yes, the human is more uh, ab uh more ability to think, learn, communicate, and control animals. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so okay, okay. Uh, Our environment, yeah, yeah. But because my because you know, I heard a lot. I read a lot that they are marrying their dog. So how? Well, it's very hard. Well, it's very hard to say negative things to those people uh, may, but because maybe their boyfriend before is not good. <laughs> uh, their girlfriend maybe before is not good. Huh? That's why they marry their uh, their dogs. Could you imagine? Uh, I asked a lady his her partner is a T-bird. Why you choose this Tibet than a real man? And she told me, because this Tibet is faithful. This Tibet is uh, caring and and others. So so I cannot say anything against that because 
that 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 is her experience okay so again um again Let's talk about St. Thomas Aquinas. According to Thomas Aquinas, a man is a combination of matter plus form. Matter is a common stuff that makes up everything in the universe. That is highly. When you say form, that is morphe, essence of a substance or thing. So what makes it what it is? Okay. Now, the body of the human is similar to animals, objects, but what makes a human is his essence. Essence. So the soul is what makes us humans. Come again. The soul is what makes us humans. There are teachings like this, uh, especially to Plato and to other philosophers. They believe the duality of a person, soul and body. On the other side is the tripartite being, the soul, the body, and the spirit. So again, uh, you know, I like the word humans. I like the word humanity. There must be humanity in us. You know, in the early days, if you will read during the time of slavery, and I'm crying, it is because the Americans, the, Eng the English people went to, or other uh, rich countries, they went to Africa and bought the African people and took to America, took to Britain, and make them as slaves. Could you imagine? Slaves. And during in the early times, in the early times, there are slaves. But now, during our days, no more slaves. Don't forget this. There are no more slaves during our time. A slave has no salary. Listen to this carefully. A slave has no salary. They will put earrings. Listen. To make sure that you are a slave. As a man, they will put earring to your ears. What do you think? In the early days, men they are po they will they are using earrings to prove that they are s slaves. But now, but now, if you have earrings, what do you call that today? To the men, passion. Passion. I like that, Mister Stem. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> Could you imagine? Today is passion. But before, that is a sign of his slavery. Sign of his slavery. Could you imagine? But now is passion. Could you imagine? They will put earrings to their nose, earrings to their... Um... I heard a, a, a man in America, they said, uh, he told me that I don't know if in the left side or right side, uh, I, I forget. Uh, in the other side means it is single. On the other side means it is taken. What the... <laughs> in America. But I don't know, it's left or right. Okay? But for us, but for us, okay? 
uh, if you are married, if you are married today, you have you are wearing your wedding ring. Do you know where to put your wedding ring? Somebody can tell me. Yes, About sir. Where? Where to put your wedding ring? Uh, from a uh, fourth finger. Fourth finger of what? Left. Are you sure, Madam Pearl? <laughs> <laughs> According to what we've learned. Right. You know. <laughs> you right. know. Right, sir. Right. It's not left, it's right. Right. Yeah, it's true, ma'am. Right. The, the, the right uh, port, uh, finger. That is, you will see that the, the wedding ring in the right side, ma'am. Right, right. Not left. Not left. I think finger left away. Nice one. Nice one, ma'am. <laughs> baka, 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 baka engage pa lang. <laughs> okay, kasi eh, uh, kaya, kaya lang ang problem nga, ang problem nga, depende kasi eh. It depends on how we practice eh. It depends on how, what is our belief of, of, on this. So okay, uh, uh, well, well, I'm not imposing that belief. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, again, we will go back to our lesson. Uh, according to, now, let's talk about modern philosophy. Modern philosophy. We're not talking about yesterday. We are not talking about uh, the early days. We're talking about today. Let's talk about René Descartes. He is the father of modern philosophy. He said, human person is a combination of body and mind. It's a combination of body and mind. There is so much that we should doubt. Now, if something is so clear and lucid as not to be doubted, that is the only time one should believe. The only thing one can't doubt is existence of the self. Whether you and I don't like or like it, there is a self. There is you. We are here. Okay? We are alive. We have our body. We are kicking and alive. According to René Descartes. So he said, I think, therefore I am. The self, that is the cogito, the thing that thinks, plus extensa, the extension of mind plus body. That is the self. That is the self. I hope you understand when we say self. When, when we are talking about the self, we're talking about a human body. We're talking about a human life. We're talking about a person. So the body is a machine attached to the mind. According to Descartes, it's the mind that makes the man. He said, I am thinking thing, a thing that doubts, understands, affirms, denies, wills, refuses, imagines, and perceives. This is according to René Descartes. So do you agree with the testaments about the self? When I say self, it's a combination of body and soul. So do you agree with the testaments about the self so far? What seems to be questionable in their conje conjectures? Okay? So meaning, do we have doubt about the body and the soul? Do we not agree that our body is the body of the soul, the residence of the soul. Okay, let's talk about David Hume. David Hume. 
David Hume disagrees with all with the all the other aforementioned philosophers. He disagrees. One can only know what comes from the senses and experiences. He is an empiricist. The self is not an entity beyond the physical body. He said, you know that other people are humans, not because you have seen their soul, but because you see them, hear them, feel them, and etc. Meaning, you know, when I still studying my Bachelor of Science in Social Work, during the time of, during that time, our professor asked us this question. Okay. Um, do the do the people in the jails those who were caught and commit crimes do they lose their dignity may i ask yes. that same question that being asked by my professor do the people in the jails lost their dignity Somebody can give me the answer. Okay, Doc. In my own opinion yes, and understanding about the question, um, it depends on the situation and what crimes they commit. Example, if they are just uh what you call this, um uh mm, if basta somebody do basta, basta na sa loob ng kulungan. <laughs> basta, well, especially <laughs> if, uh, po sa... Basta, kahit na sa loob sila ng kulungan, do, sometimes may mga cases kasi na uh, inalaga, ay prinotektahan ng ano, bulol, prinotektahan ng nila yung sarili nila na hindi sila yung mapatay, nung tao na patay nila in some other cases. Yeah. So, yeah, it, I think it depends on the situation and the crime that they commit. Okay. Uh, my question is very simple. Uh, we will make it as a general question. We will ask a general question, all of them. Okay? The question is very simple. For example, a person killed a person. Did he lose his dignity? What do you think? Oh, uh, very hard question. It's a simple uh, question, but very hard to answer. Po, tatagalogin ko, tatagalogin ko, tatagalogin ko. Yung bang mga nakakulong na mga criminal, if we will use that word criminal, nawalan na ba sila ng halaga? I don't no, believe, sir. No, sir. I don't believe. There's still, uh, they are still uh, important to this nature. Uh, importante pa rin po silang tao. Hindi po sila nawalan. Hindi so po sila nawalan hindi, ng dignidad. Hindi nawala yung kanilang kahalagahan. Yes, sir. No, sir. For example, you are holding a 1,000 peso bill. Again, for example, you are holding a 1,000 peso bill. And then you it will uh, slide in your hand and went into the ano yung imbornal ba no na punta sa imbornal na punta doon sa puti maraming dumi napakarumi na yung 1000 dollar uh, 1000 peso bill napakarumi napakarumi my question is very simple wala na bang halaga yon no, sir. It's still the same. So I hope you got my point. Yes, Doc. Meron. Okay. okay. So may halaga pa rin. So <laughs> kahit yung pinakabusakal o pinakamasamang tao na kahit anong kasalanan niya, 
Well, I like the Bible said na kahit sino yan. Actually, si Apostle Paul ay killer na mga Christian. And yet, yep. God justified him. Yes, uh, Sir uh, Sir Lim, go ahead. Uh, actually, no. Uh, we are talking about dignity. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, even the criminals have right, have a dignity because we are created by the image of God. Amen. Okay, yes, so, so na, yung halaga wala na wala. Uh, meron pa pong isang sa Bible, yung si Magdalena, yung uh, uh, ano siya, yung harlot siya, di ba? Yes, so, sorry. Apo. Yun yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ nga na kung sino walang kasalanan, batuin siya kasi nga lahat naman tayo makasalanan. So, meron pa rin siyang dignity. Okay, so, okay, okay. So, meaning, we we don't have the right to judge anybody. Yes. We don't have the right. Uh, again, we have to respect their dignity. We have to respect other people. Kasi, just to show that we are humans. Okay? Just to show that we are humans. Again, um... Ang sinasabi kasi ni David Hume, if you are seeing a person, he is the self. The self is nothing but a bundle of impressions and ideas. When you say impression, basic objects of our experience, sensation, secondly, forms, the core of our thoughts. When we say idea is copies of in impressions, not as real as impressions. Okay? So again, that is David Hume, according to uh, David Hume. So self is a collection of different perceptions which rapidly succeed each other. Self in a perpetual flux and movement. So we want to believe that there is a unified, coherent self, soul, mind, and others. But actually, it is all just a combination of experiences. This is according to David Hume. Well, uh, let's talk about Immanuel Kant. Agrees with Hume that everything starts with perception or sensation of, impre of impressions. He said there is a mind that regulates these impressions. A time, space, and others are ideas that, that one cannot find in the world but is built in our minds. We call that apparatus of the mind. Okay, this self organizes different impressions that one gets in relation to his own existence. So we need active intelligence to sensitize all knowledge and experience according to Kant. He said, the self is not only personality, but also the seat of knowledge. So again, again, brothers and sisters, according to him, seat of knowledge. You know, when you talk about philosophy, you know the good thing of today, if you will study the story of yesterday, the wars of yesterday, the killings of yesterday. There is no human. There is no philosophy. They keep on killing. They want to eradicate other people except them. But praise God! Here comes the philosophers that teach philosophy. How to live a good life with our neighbors. We must show humanity in us. You, we must show humanity to other people. 
Okay? Have you asked this question? What can... Uh, maybe you are asking this. Because always we want to ask God and others what we want. We are asking always what we want. I want this. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want to own this. So we are always asked this. What this world can do for me? What others can do for me? Can you change your philosophy? What can I do to this world? What can I do to other people? What can I do to other fellow people? What can I do to my neighbor? And I like that word, the Lord Jesus Christ is the symbol and picture of a good Samaritan. Because he helped his enemy. Okay? He feed his enemy. He cure his enemy. He help. He put in the hospital his enemy. He paid the bills in the hospital. Okay? My question is very simple tonight. How do you feel about the discussion so far? Because we are talking about, again, we are just only in the introductory message of our topic, of our subject. Our subject is understanding the self. Maybe we can make it specific, understanding myself, understanding who, who am who am I really are? Why I became a pastor? Why I became a teacher? Why I became like this? Okay? Again, we're about to finish again in a minute. But I hope, brothers and sisters, this subject will awaken our sleeping identity, our sleeping uh, knowledge. Maybe we have the knowledge, but we are not using that knowledge. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. The wisest man that lives here on earth is Solomon. 